Hi, I'm Lisa Prather, and welcome to The Voice of Health with our host, Dr. Robert Prather of The Prather Practice, where lives are changed every day through the natural approach to health care. As we say goodbye to 2016 and ring in 2017, this is the time of year when we're all making New Year's resolutions. And weight loss is the number one resolution that people make. Today, we're going to talk about hormones, the key to unlocking weight loss. Well, let's talk about hormones. What do you mean by the statement, Dr. Prather, hormones, the key to unlocking weight loss? Well, it's it's a very common type of thing that people come in and they say, I've been doing everything right to lose the weight. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I don't know what else I can do. I've been cutting down, been exercising, and uh, the weight's staying right where it's where it's always been. And they've uh, sought uh, uh, help uh, with other places and uh, had other different types of programs and were very unsuccessful. And they're looking for, you know, it's, it's at a point where they've, they've kind of almost given up. Mm-hmm. And so we find oftentimes that the problem is a is the hormones. Uh, you are we are accumulation of all those chemical reactions in our body and uh, all the different things that are going on. And the hormones and the nervous system are the two things that tell the body what to do. And the hormones have a uh, a very big regulatory type of effect on our weight and uh, if the hormones say no you're not going to lose weight uh, you're not going to lose weight they talk they, I, they do I believe talk. it <laughs> they do talk uh, I've heard them talk <laughs> I've met people that their hormones were talking to me <laughs> so uh, yes they, they it's it's it can be a very frustrating type of thing and Oftentimes, when we do some thorough evaluation, uh, even though they've been told, you know, that there wasn't any problem along those lines, we find some issues uh, and get that fixed, and it's amazing what happens. Well, why are hormones such an issue with weight loss? Well, it, you know, it's it, there is a it, there is a huge influence on that, and one of the things that we've got is we've got a lot of, uh, of chemicals mm-hmm. in our system that have a huge amount of effect on our, on our weight. When you say chemicals, do you mean from the outside? From the outside. Uh, it's, it's not just that your hormones are, are crazy, but uh, there's a lot of things that are outside that are making them crazy mm-hmm. uh, that uh, we necessarily didn't have before. Uh, there are a lot of plastics. There's a lot of additives in our food right now. Uh, there are some very strong... Uh, uh, hormonal changes that we're doing to ourselves that uh, our parents and our grandparents didn't have. Mm-hmm. So this is a, you know, it, it's it's just like, well, you know, why are my hormones so screwy? Mm-hmm. You know, and there's a lot of influences on that that, uh, uh, you know, we are just kind of bombarded with. We live in a chemical world. Mm-hmm. And that I thought chem- it was a material world. <laughs> material world. <laughs> Well, and, and, you know, that does have a big influence. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, we want convenience in our food. Uh, The average woman uh, or the the cook uh, in the household would spend eight hours a day uh, preparing and, Mm -hmm. you know, getting the food all together. Well, I was doing a a weight loss um, consultation not too long ago, and, you know, we talk about um, the client's eating habits and this poor um, poor woman is taking care of everybody, you know, but sure. herself. And this happens a lot, especially with women. And her eating habits, she had to do convenience, was three times a day fast food. Oh, wow. And I said, if we just cut that out, sure, you're going to lose a ton of weight because sure. of all the toxins going into your body. Oh, yeah. You know, on a daily basis. Yeah, there's a... Uh you know the, the the whole thing of of getting hooked on the fast food, the fast life, going around and seeing what's the easiest thing to prepare. Well, the, usually the reason it's so easy to prepare it's because it's half chemicals. Mm. Uh, 
you know, and mm. our body doesn't know what to do with it. It makes a huge amount of changes within our system. And one of the big changes that we're experiencing is a is a shift in our hormonal balance that is created by all the uh, toxic chemicals we're taking in. And that'd be interesting to start thinking, okay, you know, should I do fast food? Do I want to eat 50% chemicals, you know, bringing it into my <laughs> body? And people are walking around toxic and don't even know think that's normal sure. do you find that people oh, yeah. are uh, have lived like this for a while and they just think this is normal right. to feel this way and it's not yeah yeah it's not so you know is this an issue with just women or this hormone thing or men you know because men yeah. tend to lose weight um even in in my weight loss counseling i men lose it quicker than women you know <laughs> another thing we can dislike about them. No. <laughs> <laughs> it is Just disgusting, kidding. isn't it? Well, we, we do have a different hormonal makeup. You're uh, just simpler. Yeah, we, we're kind of simple uh, simple cell organisms. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we don't have a whole lot of purpose like women do. You know, they've, they've got to make babies and stuff like that, and we just kind of... Well, you have something to do with it. Right? Well, yeah, but no, not, not near as much as you do. <laughs> so, uh, so you know, we're we're much simpler, and and yes, the the hormonal difference between men and women makes it much easier for men to lose weight uh, than it is women, and that's part of that influence. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's Just part of my tongue out at you. <laughs> <laughs> that's part of that uh, hormonal influence. So, uh, you know, and that just shows up just how important hormones are. Mm-hmm. You know, for weight loss. Uh, men have a different balance on that, and if you can get that balance corrected. But yes, men are, are uh, affected quite a bit by this whole hormonal change. Uh, there's an increase in prostate cancer, mm-hmm. uh, which is very hormonally related, and it's because men's hormones are off. Uh, you know, the whole uh, you know need for uh, uh, Viagra and, and mm-hmm. Cialis and uh, those types of things, uh, you know that's that shouldn't be necessary. Mm-hmm. So there is a a big influence on men and women on the hormones. Uh, men aren't as complicated on their hormones <laughs> as as women are. So it makes it much quicker to change their hormonal makeup and help them to lose that weight quicker. Now, is that why? Um you know, we always do a blood work on all our weight loss um, clients, correct? Correct. So we're looking at the hormones. Yes, and and that's one thing that's extremely important. Mm-hmm. Well, it, the hormones, it, is this an epidemic in obesity? Yes. Uh, if you go back uh, in the 1970s, you know, if you look at old... Uh, you know. Well, I was looking at um, watching an old Billy Graham crusade a couple weekends ago. Sure. And it didn't tell me the year, but Billy Graham had a big fat tie, so that was what seventies, probably, probably early seventies. Yeah. And I'm watching, you know, as the people are walking down. Um, no one was fat. Sure. I mean, I kept looking. There, there, no one was fat. Right. And then you watch sports events or things nowadays, or you know. And um, vast majority, of vast people. majority of people. I mean, it, it, are fat. am I being yeah. realistic? At You're what I'm being saying? very realistic. The Center of Disease Control uh, has a whole uh, map of these over the years of the spread of obesity, and they go back to the uh, to numbers back to the 1970s. And uh, it, there was there back in the 1970s, there wasn't any state in the country that had the highest. Uh, obesity rate was down in Mississippi, and you're talking about the 1970s. 1970s, and mm-hmm. it was less than uh, 10% obesity. Mm-hmm. Uh, right now, Mississippi has hit 60% mm-hmm. obesity in adults, and the obesity rate in children has just gone right through the roof. So you know, if you're looking, and it's 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 kind of shocking to see no, how quickly yeah. the obesity rate just went right through the roof. And uh, it's interesting because the amount of calories that we're eating is no more now than what it was back then. They're just empty. It, yeah, it's the the there's a very direct co- correlation between the chemical content of the food that we eat, 
uh, they've been able to, uh, it, it used to be if you had chemical food, it tasted awful and nobody would eat it. Uh -huh. They have perfected the ability to make flavors, to make things tasty that uh, are preserved uh, that you don't have to make. And, uh, it are they makes addictive bacon, too? And also they have made them addictive. Mm. So there is a there is a chemical manipulation that I feel is the basis of our obesity rate, and that's a big thing that you have to be able to get people away from to help them to lose weight. And there's a very direct correlation in the um, in the hormonal changes too. Mm -hmm. That's put a tremendous stress on people's hormones that didn't used to be there. So there is a um, there's a shift that has occurred, and uh, it's a throwing off of the homeostasis of the body, and it's it's a it's a not an epidemic, but it is a, a, is classified as a pandemic mm. that we have right now. So there has to be a solution. Well, let's talk about that when we come back. Is there a solution? You can win a free 60-minute massage in a relaxing spa at the Prather Practice. Each month, we have a drawing to give away a free massage to one of our lucky Facebook and Twitter fans. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. This is The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather. <laughs> The Voice of Health Wellness Tip with Dr. Robert Prather of the Prather Practice. Dr. Prather, there is a device you use at your office called the Electrodermal Screening, or EDS. Tell us a little bit about it and why you call it the lie detector for the body. Well, the Electrodermal Screening Unit is a galvanic uh, skin response unit. And it actually falls under the same category as a lie detector test or biofeedback. Huh. So it it is actually we can actually rig our electrodermal screening to actually do lie detector, <laughs> but it is also a, a good term on that is a lie detector for the body. Mm -hmm. You know when you're actually uh, you know you know a whole list of different types of products that could possibly work in each type of situation, but everybody knows that not everybody responds well to penicillin. Mm -hmm. You know, some people actually have some very negative reactions to it, uh, matter even uh, to, to death. Some people, it's a lifesaver. Well, that's true of everything. And what the electrodermal screening does is it actually gives you a predetermination on how you're actually going to respond to any type of thing that we might prescribe to you before you actually take it, mm. which is extremely helpful. Now, it's, it's not a diagnostic tool. You know, uh, it is not classified as a diagnostic tool. But as we've gotten the approval for the, from the federal government on the use of it, uh, we use it purely as a means of checking to see the body's response before you would actually take something. Okay. So it's, it's a response machine. Mm -hmm. Now, you have to have knowledge beforehand on what products will actually work with each type of condition. Right. So we're very dependent upon our, our lab tests and the gold standard types of diagnostic tests. But then once you've determined that, what do you do with that? Because mm -hmm. in, the, in our, in our uh, instrument, we have actually 80,000 different products that we can check on. Wow. So with that, we can actually find out what's going to work the best for you and how you're going to respond on things before you actually take them. And what about its effectiveness? Uh, through clinical studies, they have found that it's 80% accurate, over 80% accurate, which, you know, mm -hmm. was what uh, actually attracted me to it because there's not too many things that you can actually have that kind of results with. Right, right. Um, and this uh, electrodermal screening eliminates some of the guessing. The guesswork is the biggest thing that we're trying to get rid of. Schedule your appointment at the Prather Practice, 317-848-8048. That's 317-848-8048. Or learn more on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. The Prather Practice, restoring hope. You're listening to The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather of The Prather Practice, the most comprehensive wellness center in the Midwest. This week, we're talking about hormones, the key to unlocking weight loss. And um, Dr. Prather, very interesting about hormones and um, 
let's just um, start where we finished off. Is there a solution to this obesity pandemic is what they're calling it now? Absolutely. Uh, it's it's uh, something that is very addressable. Uh, there are uh, well-known reasons why that's occurring. Uh, there are very good reasons on uh, ways to approach that. Uh, and one of the big areas, I mean, there's many different aspects going into weight loss, and we've discussed those in the past. Uh, one of the things that we didn't spend that much time on, uh, we mentioned it, but is the uh, hormones. Mm -hmm. So putting one segment where we're just concentrating on the hormones because it is such a, a broad uh, category and mm -hmm. so many different types of influences along those lines. Uh, felt Did that you that think would you just had a... <laughs> a funny. <laughs> a funny. Smiling. <laughs> a little doctor sense of humor, but uh, yeah, it's it's a. That's called dry. Dry. Yeah. Dry yes, there is a solution to that. Okay. Well, how easy is hormone balancing, and you know how often, what percentage of the patients coming in your door have hormones that are unbalanced? It, it's pretty pretty much uh, 90 percent mm -hmm. of people's hormones are out of balance uh, it's it's a it's a very uh, complicated yes because you're talking about not just a static type of a situation uh, uh, an example is uh, I've had patients come in and men and women who decided that you know as they as they were tested they were low on testosterone mm -hmm. so it would make sense to, well let's just add testosterone and, and the patient should be fine. But uh, as we were doing our own testing, because it didn't work at all, mm -hmm. is that the, uh, that the testosterone, the body took it, uh, because things weren't working correctly, it converted it into a f very toxic form of estrogen. Wow. So n giving the testosterone caused the testosterone level in the patient to be lower. Mm -hmm. and made the problem worse. Hmm. So, you know, you're talking about a, a chemical plant that is, is out, of, out of kilter, and you need to get 64 hormones balanced out. <laughs> That's it, huh? And they are, they are in constant flow, and mm -hmm. there is a, a homeostasis that the body is trying to achieve Mm -hmm. And it, things aren't working right. Mm -hmm. So you need to, just because you're adding something into the system that is, is deficient, doesn't mean you're going to get the same thing at the, as the end results. So, you know, we think of testosterone, uh, just a male hormone. Right. But women can be imbalanced in that also? Oh, yes. Uh, it, you know, we have, uh, males and females have the same hormones. Mm -hmm. You know, it's and there's a certain balance for uh, men and women. Now, men, uh, there is a, a nice steady homeostasis. Women's homeostasis changes on a uh, monthly Hourly basis. Hourly basis. <laughs> That's where it gets complicated for women is that uh -huh. there, it's not, it, it's to be able to do what you do. <laughs> what do I have a, a saying at home on a... On a little board, what does it say? Next mood swing in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, men, yes, men are much simpler to balance. Mm -hmm. Women, it's a much more complicated. Uh, there is there is a uh, constant shifting going on. So what is what is normal for homeostasis is different at different times. Mm -hmm. So being aware of that uh, and al also working. You can't just add something in and make it work because the the body's constantly shifting back and forth. So trying to achieve that homeostasis and to get the system working, not only do you need to have the hormones right, but the manufacture and the regulation of the hormones mm -hmm. is a big key factor. Because the body has a whole plan. I mean, the livers. Uh, You're making our body sound like a warehouse. It, it is. It's a <laughs> chemical factory. Uh -huh. And one of the big places is the liver. The liver has a huge influence because it will make up the differences in your hormone balance. So it comes in, analyzes the blood hormones and say, hmm, this is a little bit off. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to destroy these particular hormones and I'm going to produce a little bit of these to help to get that balance right. So the liver is a 
a horm uh, an endocrine balancer, which most even endocrinologists don't think along those lines. Mm -hmm. uh, y you know, you've got the the pineal, uh, the uh, the pituitary, along with the hypothalamus. Uh, you've got the thyroid, the thymus. Uh, you've got the pancreas, the adrenals, uh, the uh, uh, the. These are all things part of the hormone right, system. Right, right. Uh, uterus, prostate, testes, all that. ovaries, all that. and all of those are producing <laughs> hormones. Plus, some there's the cells themselves uh, start producing different hormones. Mm -hmm. So there's a constant factory going on, and they're communicating with each other telling each other, I mean, some of the, the hormones are just communications. So, you know, mm -hmm. there is a, if there's a miscommunication, if there's a misinterpretation, uh, then there is an imbalance. If you have some nutritional, mineral, amino acids imbalances, then, then it can't be made. Mm -hmm. uh, one who's of the, most, the boss? Uh, who's the boss? <laughs> uh, they, they, they try to decide on that. There, there's it's a, a huge, constant. In, it's, a constant <laughs> it's a constant type of thing. You usually think of the pineal and pituitary as the uh, main areas of telling, but you know, they're, they, they are dependent upon communication from elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So there's a constant communication, a constant uh, shifting that's going on. Matter of fact, one of the things that uh, we measure around here is the heart rate variability and it, a, the worst thing that you can have is a very steady heart rate variability. Mm -hmm. The healthier you are, the quicker you can, act, you can respond to outside stimuli. Mm. Interesting. So the body's ability to respond to hormonal changes quickly mm -hmm. is something that it needs to do. And as one ages, it, it's not as quick on mm -hmm. the updraw. And if it was, then you would stay young. Mm -hmm. Right. So what changes as you age? Well, uh, you get more wearing down. The process doesn't work. It doesn't need to be. Mm -hmm. That's the interesting part. Well, it, it's interesting because I have a 77-year-old weight loss client. Sure. You know, she has a wedding coming up. Uh, not her own, but <laughs> <laughs> that'd be cool. <laughs> no, she's happily married. Uh, <laughs> and um, wants to lose some weight. And we have her on her program, did blood work, and she's doing it, you know? Sure. So some people think, oh, I've been told, I think she was told by other doctors she's too old, you know, sure. to do that. Sure. Um, but you're never too old. Right. And, and if you, uh, you're, you're as old as your hormones. Ah. So. That's not, a show in itself. Yeah. Not like only, yeah, not only is, is this important for uh, weight loss, but it's. Aging. It's Anti-aging, too. Mm -hmm. Hormones, uh, if you've got the hormones up to par, you, you're not going to age as quickly. So not only is this uh, imbalance in the body causing, uh, you know, weight gain, but mm -hmm. it's causing increased chances of cardiovascular disease. It's causing increased chances. Uh, if you're overweight due to your hormones, your chances of cancer are, are six times greater than what they normally would be. Well, you know, and some people... Just looking inflamed. Right. And what is that? You know, I mean, they just kind of like they've blown up, like, you know what That's I'm saying? That's exactly it. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's many times that we do the blood test and... And people who are overweight, their inflammation rate on their blood test is way up. And that's roof. toxins? That's toxins. That's a response to the toxins. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. getting that under control is very important. Okay. Well, does fat percentage play an important role in homeostasis? I know we um, that's something we do initially mm -hmm. with all the patients and our weight loss patients. Um, that's kind of our, our measure, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and... Um, how important is fat percentage? Well, it, if you have an imbalance uh, too high of a fat percentage, it changes your hormones. Mm. So you become more estrogen dominant. Uh, you put stress on the thyroid. So the fat itself is a hormone regulator. Mm. Explain so, that. Well, fat will cause, will produce hormones mm. mm -hmm. in and of itself. So the the fat itself is a is a one of the regulators of your hormonal system, and you cannot have a normal hormone system if you are uh, have too high of a fat percentage. Mm -hmm. So if you are overweight 
have too high of a fat percentage, you automatically are off on your hormones. Mm -hmm. So, the, you know, there's, there's a duality to that. I know, and I know people dread to find out when I go over it with them and with the healthy <laughs> range. It's, you know, but when sure. we see people get into that, go from morbid obesity sure. to a healthy range, oh, we give people, they've just tacked on how many years to their oh, life. Yes, and, it, you know, it, it, once you get it down, it's much easier to maintain. Mm -hmm. You know, there, there's a, you know, once you get into homeostasis, the body likes to stay there. Right. And so it, it will just, you know, if you have too many calories that you take in that day, it'll just burn it up. It won't convert it into fat. Mm -hmm. And you talked about that in our past show about that set weight. Set weight. You know, and our brain likes to be a certain weight. And right. And how we break that pattern. Body does not like to be out of homeostasis. And it, what happens is the body has assumed an abnormal homeostasis. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't like to change. We shouldn't even call it homeostasis. What's abnormal homeostasis? <laughs> abnormal homeostasis. <laughs> Unhealthy. Unhealthy homeostasis, correct. All right. When we come back, let's talk about treatments that are available um, for hormone balancing. Listen to the Voice of Health Radio on your smartphone or tablet on all of the top radio apps available. Tune in Radio, Stitcher, and iHeartRadio. You can find these apps and more on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. This is The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather. Are you frustrated by not getting to the root cause of your health issue? Are you tired of not knowing why you're always fatigued? Are you wanting to say no to toxic drugs? Have you lost hope? Are you just tired of being sick and tired? At the Prather Practice, we want you to know that we have the answers for you. We offer the alternative to the disease care model. We are the drug-free model to health and wellness. At the Prather Practice, we look for the underlying cause of your health problem and not just the symptomatology. Through thorough diagnostics, we find your individual health blueprint for your treatment. Where the disease care model is symptom-based, the structure function model we practice gets to the root of your health issue. The Prather Practice is the most comprehensive wellness center in the Midwest. Our integrated practice offers you the most treatment options to restore your health and your hope. Learn more about the Prather Practice by calling 317-848-8048 or learn more on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. Laughter is the best medicine. He's a good doctor, I think, you know. I told him I get heartburn sometimes, so he goes and gets me a list of things that cause heartburn. I'm looking at the list and I'm like, I already know this. I know how to get it. That's like going into the hospital with a cannonball wound and they show you a list. Here's how you get cannonball wounds. I already, I, I have a cannonball wound. It's gaping. Do you have a tube of cannonball wound ointment? Lisa Prather, and you're listening to The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather of The Prather Practice, where we get to the root cause of your health issue. We're talking today about hormones, the key to unlocking weight loss. And Dr. Prather, let's talk about treatments that are available for balancing hormones. Well, uh, of course, you've got the pharmaceuticals. Uh, you also have bioidentical hormones. Uh, those are, are uh, very big movers. Um, you know, they, they have a big impact on the system and they force the body to uh, move in certain directions. Uh, there are quite a few controversies with that. There is an increased risk for uh, several cancers uh, that are associated with that. And most of the time, all the studies have shown that the, uh, that the dangers actually outweigh the benefits. We're talking about hormone replacements, too. A hormone replacement therapy also. Uh, you can get some very good results, uh, but sometimes, as I've mentioned earlier in the show, that sometimes you can get the opposite effect. So it, it, it's a, um, 
It's something that is in the arsenal. I would probably say only about 2% of all people who have hormone problems qualify for that type of treatment. Uh, the vast majority of people, what they need is a more of a, a subtle type of a change where you stimulate the body's own regulatory process and you can get much better results along those lines and much more long-lasting results. Uh, it's just like if you are taking, uh, let's say, testosterone for a male. Uh, one of the things that happens as you are taking testosterone is your uh, gonads actually shrink. Mm. Uh, why? Because your body doesn't feel like it needs to produce it because your butt, you know, because you already are. And then it could also be converting it into estrogen, which is a very common type of thing. So not, not a good thing. Benefit. So, you know, there are ways that you can boost your own testosterone production. Uh, there are homeopathics. Uh, there are her herbals. Uh, there are uh, glandulars uh, that uh, are very effective. Uh, there are certain types of uh, minerals. Uh, zinc is a very important factor. Mm -hmm. uh, there could be some amino acid deficiencies. Uh, in other words, there's a lot of ways that you can get the body to work for itself instead of coming in and then overriding the body. And the difference between what I would consider a pharmaceutical is it forces the body and it's not based on the body's own mechanism to achieve the change. Where if you are looking more at a structure function, what you're doing is you are stimulating the body's own production. Mm -hmm. So you don't get into all the dangers of the uh, cancer-causing types of situations. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, if you can get the body to uh, head more to homeostasis, your chances of uh, having cancer have been reduced quite dramatically. And um, all these types of uh, treatments are classified more in the structure function, which would be more food grade instead of pharmaceuticals, so you don't have the dangers that are associated with that. Yeah, so how does structure function, which you practice at the Prather practice, so, and um, differ from the disease method of hormone balancing? Well, when you're talking about disease, uh, care it is a it is it is in other words it forces the body to do a certain type of a, a process it overrides the body it's a direct treatment mm -hmm. when you're talking about structure function in working with homeostasis you're bringing the body one back into homeostasis so it's working better and then two you're providing the necessary types of stimulants for the body to make the the hormones itself None of the things that we are giving someone uh, have, are do, are actually producing the hormone, you know, that are uh -huh. giving you the hormones. What we are doing is stimulating the body's own production. So we're giving the basic building blocks. Helping the body to, to produce it. Right. Mm -hmm. And it encourages the, one of the things that we find is, uh, let's say you are low in testosterone. Mm -hmm. The products that we give uh, encourages the body to make the testosterone itself. Mm -hmm. And then over a period of time, you no longer need that product to get the testosterone going. Mm -hmm. In other words, it's so a you're not healing on these process. for life. Certainly. Uh -huh. When you're dealing with disease care, it's working with the symptomatology. Mm -hmm. All disease care makes you sicker. So if you are taking hormone therapy on a pharmaceutical basis, your body after, if you would suddenly quit, is less likely to produce the hormone. Mm -hmm. So your body's ability to take care of itself to achieve homeostasis on its own uh, decreases. When you are on a structure function regimen, you are now encouraging the body to produce its own so there's a healing that takes place. So disease care is, is uh, taking care of the symptomatology, making the body sicker. The uh, structure function care is providing the necessary types of uh, procedures, equipment, mm -hmm. for the body to do it itself, and it's a healing process. Now, uh, you don't get as quick a results. Mm -hmm. yeah, which people, we want everything fast. We want everything fast, and, and it's now. complicated. <laughs> but the results are better, mm -hmm. healthier, and more long-lasting. You know, and I think there's this kind of, am I right, this myth that bioidentical hormones is natural? 
Do you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, bioidentical hormones, uh, one, don't come from natural products. It's a synthesized type of thing. Mm -hmm. And they are designed to be very similar to the uh, to our own hormones. Uh, they are so similar that, uh, you know, the, well, one, you can't uh, patent it. So that's why it's not sold through pharmaceutical companies. Oh. So, you know, they can't make as much money off it, which is the real reason that they haven't patented it. But it, it's, to be honest, it's a little bit more dangerous mm -hmm. because there isn't that tweaking. So mm -hmm. the chances of having a lot of the negative effects are higher with bioidentical hormones than uh, on pharmaceutical. Mm -hmm. So it's not safer. It's more powerful. Mm -hmm. uh, you get stronger effects. But I would classify it as more disease care than even the pharmaceuticals. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a, it's a very strong uh, uh, Interesting. medicine. Uh -huh. uh, but it, it's not natural. It's not from natural products, it's, uh, and it's unnatural to the body. Mm -hmm. And they're connecting it with some cancers, correct? Oh, it, even more so. There's, there's even a stronger connection and a uh, higher incidence of cancers with bioidentical than uh, with regular. Mm -hmm. so, and that's not saying that some people don't need it. Mm hmm you know, but it has to be monitored very closely and watched and uh, uh, regulated, you know. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, it is something that uh, certain people do qualify for that absolutely need it, especially mm -hmm. post-surgicals. Uh, but it does need to be even watched even closer and with other different types of moderating supplements along with it. Well, balancing hormones sounds so difficult. I picture this huge warehouse in chaos, <laughs> you know, and you're trying to... Oh, um, it, it, is, it is like herding cats. Uh-huh. So it, where, where do you begin? It, it's the beginning on that is consultation. Uh, I get a, so much out of just talking to the patient and finding out what's going on. I already usually have a pretty good idea of what's happening. By just talking with the patient. Just talking with the patient, mm -hmm. finding out, uh, you know, some of the history, some of the symptomatology. Uh, it tells me a tremendous amount. Mm -hmm. uh, they tell me far more than they have any idea. Yeah, the patient. The mm -hmm. patient does. You, you can get 90% of what's going on uh, from consultation. So we make sure that we have the time and we make sure that we uh, are listening mm -hmm. to what they say. Uh, so I know one I of the first good. questions you ask is, how can I help you? Sure. How can we help you? Mm -hmm. and, and people are smarter than what they even realize themselves. Mm -hmm. So, you know, listening to the patient is, is the beginning. Uh, the next step on that is a thorough exam. Mm -hmm. The examination, uh, I can tell a tremendous amount. Uh, oftentimes, uh, I can uh, palpate the thyroid it's, if it's off. There are certain areas that are tender with uh, adrenal problems. Uh, there are certain signs, symptoms for the pituitary. There are changes in the nail. So uh, there is a, a, an awful lot that you can tell if you are aware from the examination. I can write up and have a pretty good idea of what's going to show up uh, in the next step in the lab tests mm -hmm. uh, from the examination. So putting the consultation, examination, and this is one of the things that is always necessary. You know, a lot of people go online for their weight loss. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Trying to find out information and products well, and yeah. getting on programs. And getting online. on programs. So you, you, can't, you, you can't possibly do that. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to have a physician listen to you. Uh, you need to uh, have a thorough examination, see mm -hmm. what's going on. Uh, make sure there aren't any heart problems, any other types of, uh, of conditions that would Because we won't take you. on a weight loss client without blood work. Uh, absolutely not. Mm -hmm. You have to know what's going on. You have to be responsible. Uh, people, uh, when you're doing weight loss, you can injure people. So you need to know what's going on. And good, thorough lab testing is absolutely critical to determine uh, how you're going to be approaching this, the, the patient. Now, are these tests normally done uh, on patients at traditional offices? Uh, it, it, it's amazing at traditional, uh, as you're looking at regular uh, healthcare, what people are used to, very, very poor lab testing. 
Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's far far incomplete. We are far more dependent upon thorough lab tests than the normal doctor, and uh, most of it, you know, a lot of times people have their thyroid checked, and all they get is a TSH. Mm. Uh, it's incomprehensible. You can't tell anything from, from just that. that. No, uh -huh. you have to have a very basic minimum, which we always do on every patient. If there are some abnormals that show on that, uh, there's 34 blood tests that we have just for the thyroid. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> you mm -hmm. know, and, and getting into that. And, and it's being thorough. Yes. You, you, if you're going to be doing a weight loss program, uh, any type of a shift, everyone should have a, a thorough lab test to find out what's going on because it has such an influence on uh, how things are treated. Okay. When we come back, more on hormones, the key to unlocking weight loss. Never miss an episode of The Voice of Health so that you can stay informed and empowered about your health. Get a podcast of our show automatically delivered to you every week by signing up for our show on iTunes. You can find that link on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. And don't forget, thevoiceofhealthradio.com has complete archives of all of our past episodes with an audio library of information to help you add more life to your years and more years to your life. This is The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather. <laughs> The Voice of Health Wellness Tip with Dr. Robert Prather of the Prather Practice. Dr. Prather, the Prather Practice now offers counseling services. Why did you decide to add that to your practice? It's something that I always knew was necessary, was looking forward to the right person coming in. You know, if you have an illness going on, uh, that can be very emotionally devastating. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, the emotions and some of the things that happen to us can actually lead to some of the health conditions that people experience. Uh, we are more than just uh, our spine. Mm -hmm. We are more than just our physiology. But also how we think has a huge effect on all, it, each one of those different aspects. And those things then also have, a, have an effect on our, our thinking. Mm -hmm. So incorporating the whole aspect of counseling into the office is just a very natural outgrowth in us becoming an integrated and a total holistic type of a practice. Mm -hmm. So this was something that I, in my original thoughts 30 years ago of, of getting into my practice, uh, having this aspect was a very important part of it. Mm -hmm. And we are now doing it. We are a, a holistic practice. Mm -hmm. And if you don't understand uh, the emotional aspect, if you don't understand uh, the patterns that we have, then you can't really get to the complete healing of the patient. Oftentimes we can get a release in the physical body and it creates some emotional tension. The emotional tension will cause tension within the body. So getting down to that root, and we have so many different types of layers that can start to accumulate. And we see the evidence of the issues in people's body that creates uh, disease in, in them. The underlying problem can be an emotional issue, past experiences, uh, past habits, and coping mechanisms that we can have. We see oftentimes people have an injury and their whole body has kind of shifted to compensate for that injury. Mm -hmm. Same thing on an emotional type of level. People have had injuries and they've had compensations. And getting through those compensations to get to the injury is a is an ongoing type of process that a skilled counselor has to be able to find out just like we do that on a physical level. And the physical and the emotional are very, very connected. As you can approach it from both, to both angles, mm -hmm. I think we're going to get a far, far better results than we could separate. Yeah, and I know we already are. Schedule your appointment at the Prather Practice, 317-848-8048. That's 317-848-8048. Or learn more on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. The Prather Practice, restoring hope. So raise your glasses, you You're listening to The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather of The Prather Practice, where our mission is restoring hope to our patients. Well, we're back talking about hormones, the key to unlocking weight loss. 
And Dr. Prather, what unique qualifications does your office as a structure function uh, medicine office offer that's not normally available? Well, the, uh, well one, I, I belong to a group called uh, the Diplomat American Board of Chiropractic Internists. There's 45 of us across the country. It's, uh, it's an organization that has been around for uh, about the time that I graduated. I was one of the original uh, mm -hmm. diplomats, and uh, it is a group that specializes in structure function. We really got with the top docs uh, in the country who have specialized in structure function, and we interpret lab tests far, far different than the normal types of physicians do. Mm -hmm. So we, I have 600, over 600 hours just on reading blood tests. And uh, it's oftentimes people sit there and say, you know, we, well, I need some thorough lab tests on you. And they say, well, I just had a whole slew of, of lab tests done. And everything was normal. I said, well, great. I would love to see it. Mm -hmm. And then I, I look at it and I point out all these abnormals <laughs> uh -huh. in the blood tests. And they said, well, they didn't talk to me about that. Mm -hmm. And how does that relate to my symptoms? And there's a direct correlation. Uh, so is it the just the education? It's the training. The and, training. Yeah, it's the training. Uh, we look at things differently. We they the are structure looking, function doctor. Yeah. Right. You're talking about disease care. The way that they look at lab tests is to look for a disease. Mm -hmm. Okay. If they don't see a disease, then there's not a problem. What we are looking for is homeostasis. Totally different type of viewpoint and a totally different type of way of, of looking at uh, lab tests. Mm -hmm. So we are looking for homeostasis, how they interact, and it tells us uh, what's going on. Matter of fact, I can usually look at blood tests and tell you usually what your symptoms are. Mm -hmm. So I can reverse it and, and see what's going on. Mm -hmm. uh, and the symptomatology almost always correlates with the blood test. The blood tests are very, very accurate. We say it's the blueprint. You it's know. the blueprint. Uh, many times people uh, have, there have been structure function doctors out there who have claimed to be natural that uh, blood tests aren't accurate on thyroid. Mm -hmm. Totally, totally wrong. It's just that the ranges on there are, are you know, they aren't trained on reading the blood work. The blood work is always accurate, it always tells us, and it always explains the symptomatology. Well, you know, let's give an example. Um, my father is down in Florida, went sure. to a doctor, um, a disease doctor, who said his cholesterol, he might need to be on cholesterol-lowering medicine. <laughs> you looked at it and said his cholesterol, you know, he was protected. Yeah. It was perfect cholesterol. Fantastic. Uh huh. Uh, he had a 100 HDL uh, with, uh, you know, about a 220 uh, 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 overall cholesterol. He's going to live to be 120. Unless they put him on cholesterol. Uh, unless they put him on cholesterol <laughs> lowering medicine. It, it's, it's also a situation where I've had a patient who came in who had 120 cholesterol. And uh, total cholesterol, and the doctor said, wow, I wish I had cholesterol levels like yours. But I looked at it, and, and they had a 10 on their HDL. Uh, they were a walking heart attack, mm -hmm. uh, plus uh, uh, sensitive to cancer, and she felt horrible. Mm -hmm. uh, I raised up her cholesterol, raised up her HDL, got a good ratio, got the cholesterol above 150. She had had uh, cardiovascular problems. Uh, she was, had a uh, couple bouts with cancer. Couldn't figure out, you know, what was wrong. I changed her cholesterol levels, partly through the hormones. And uh, lo and behold, she was healthy as a horse. Mm -hmm. Again, it's, it's a, you know, there's a very set mind on what disease is. And there has been a classification. Cholesterol is, a, uh, is an indicator of problems. It is not a problem in and of itself. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I could go off and on with that. But, <laughs> yes, it, it, it's very frustrating because it, this is really the way that blood work should be read. Yeah, it is frustrating. And then people are going on these, the meds that are causing... Uh, oh, other types of yeah. diseases that are involved. Medications, again, I'm not against pharmaceuticals. There are many times where I tell patients they really need to be on pharmaceuticals. Mm -hmm. It's knowing when it's absolutely necessary and then trying to deal, because you have to get the symptoms under control. 
uh-huh. uh, especially if they're out of control. But then you have to get to the root of the problem and actually heal the patient. Heal them. Uh-huh. Heal the patient. And that's Just a- imagine that that one gal walking heart attack, if she didn't get the right help. Oh, yeah, there's no way. And she felt like she was dying. Uh-huh. She felt like she was dying. Yeah. And she was. And people know. That's why you listen to them. People know. People are very good at giving me excellent information. People aren't crazy. People uh-huh. really know what's going on. Okay. They just don't know it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, let's talk about what is your protocol for weight loss. You know, let's kind of wrap up this three segments Certainly. on weight loss. Well, uh, again, we do consult. Uh, we need to do uh, a, a thorough consultation. Mm-hmm. We need to have a thorough examination. We need to have a thorough lab tests. Then we need to put that together with the lifestyle of the patient. Mm-hmm. So uh, one of the first things that you have to do and again that's why we talked about the hormones is you have to get those hormones balanced Mm -hmm. and sometimes you have to cheat a little bit what does that mean well uh, (laughs) we have to sometimes fool the body the body is stubborn Mm -hmm. (laughs) and it has a set weight limit you know a a sort of in its mind and i would actually put it as a picture Mm -hmm. of what you should look like Mm -hmm. and oftentimes it's off Mm -hmm. So we can use the hormones to fool the body to make a shift. Right. And uh, one of the things that we offer is HCG shots, human chorionic gonadotrophin, and that is involved with uh, telling the body that it's okay, it actually works on the hypothalamus, to tell the body it's okay to burn fat and change the weight Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, what the fat percentage is. Mm -hmm. So instead of burning muscle, which you normally do when you go on a diet, which is why most diets don't work, because you stay, you you become more fat because the fat percentage increases Mm -hmm. as you lose weight. it's wasting muscle. It's wasting muscle. This will burn up the fat and change the percentage of fat so that there is a true hormonal change. Mm -hmm. And there are, in other words, we can fool the body to to change its set point because it can be pretty stubborn. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, I just had a patient recently. Um, well, she just started on the HCG program this week, losing a pound a day. Sure. And she got real hungry yesterday and ate a little more protein than she's supposed to. First thing she said is, I don't want to fail. And I said, first of all, you don't say that word. Right. That word does not come into your brain or your mind. You know, it's these things that we say to ourselves. And I said, what, where, what number weight? What's the number you want to be at? Uh-huh. And she gave, gave me that number. She was hemming and hawing. I said, you have to have a number. Yes, you can't absolutely. hem and haw this. And I want that number written down. Sure. I want it in front of you on the refrigerator. I want it on the mirror in the bathroom. Right. And I want you to start pitching yourself at that weight. You right. were at that weight at one time, you know, because the brain just has so much power. Oh, it does. And, and that's one of the things is we, we work with the hormones, we do that. But counseling is so important, being able to talk to people. Yeah. We do have that, to, that provision. We, we also keep very close records on the changes that are taking place. Mm-hmm. We, we, we measure weekly. the fat percentage. We make sure mm-hmm. that people aren't just losing muscle. Mm-hmm. There are dietary, there are all sorts of strategies on diets, and we're very, very flexible in finding what diet works the very best. You and I did an HCG diet. Mm-hmm. We did, uh, I, a short-term I a, one. I have, yeah, two weeks. Mm-hmm. And I had a complete, uh, you know, resetting on my uh, my image of where my bo- uh, body's going to be on my, my set weight. So right. I set it a whole lot lower. Mm-hmm. And it's maintained that, no matter uh, basically what my diet's been. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's it's very effective, but we did not do a 500-calorie diet. Right. We did about a 1,500-calorie diet. So we shift that around for different types of people. We, we make sure that they are healthy and able to follow it mm-hmm. and then uh, incorporate a whole lifestyle and then make sure that it stays. Because the last thing we want is yo-yo dieting. Right. Right. Because yo- yo-yo dieting, uh, that really throws off the homeostasis and, and causes people to be sick. 
So. Well, thank you, Dr. Prather. And if you're out there, you know, um, discouraged uh, about your weight and your health, um, just call and give a free consultation here at the office where you meet with Dr. Prather. The Prather Practice is located at 8902 North Meridian Street on the north side of Indianapolis, just south of the I-465 loop. If we can help you to achieve better health, we'd love to hear from you. Connect with our office at 317-848-8048. That's 317-848-8048. Join us again here next week or anytime on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com for The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather. The Prather Plan Weight Loss Program is safe, comprehensive, medically supervised, and designed just for you. Forget the trendy diets and instead start with a roadmap that actually resets your body's metabolism for optimal fat burning and increased energy. The Prather Plan has 6, 10, or 14 week programs with a proven record of success and with guaranteed weight loss. The Prather Plan is an individualized program that is tailored to your needs to create healthy new habits in your life. You'll receive support from a certified health counselor, a nutritionist, and an exercise physiologist for maximum results. Many weight loss programs can include unhealthy loss of muscle or organ weight. We target your ideal body fat percentage so you can lose body fat in a healthy way where the pounds stay off. Contact the Prather Practice today to schedule a consultation and create a healthier you. 317-848-8048 or on the web at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. The Prather Practice. Restore Restoring hope.